on New at 11, you have likely heard the phrase, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Well, now a popular restaurant in New Jersey is asking customers to come fully clothed, but without their kids. News Force Jackie Beckford is in Tinton Falls with more on this new child dining ban and the furious debate it's already sparking. Italian restaurants are known for family style dining, but at Nettie's House of Spaghetti, some family members are simply not welcome. Nettie's House of Spaghetti in hot water tonight with some of its customers after this post to its social media pages announcing children under 10 will no longer be permitted to dine at the Tinton Falls restaurant. One commenter writing, that is really sad to hear, while another wrote, support you 100%. Strong opinions on both sides reaching into the thousands as commenters sound off. I'm okay with it. Outside the fine dining eatery once ranked among New Jersey's best restaurants, diners wish to remain anonymous but say they agree with the move. People don't care what their kids do and they just let them run around. I guess they don't want to pay for a babysitter so they bring them with them. Though no one with Netties returned our calls or emails, they explained on their social media posts they love kids but that they've had it with noise levels, the mess, and the liability of children running around the restaurant. You know, when you have little kids running around, sometimes it's disruptive. Just down the road, kids could be found everywhere in the more casual Atelio's Pizza Restaurant. It would definitely uh, challenge me. I probably wouldn't go if, uh, if I know my kids are not allowed there. Manager Paolo Palumbo has been here for more than 30 years and says he simply can't imagine a restaurant without kids. I would love to see um, people come with the fam uh, family, with the kids, and enjoy. Some say the move by Nettie's now offers diners here more options, kid-friendly or kid-free. The new rule takes effect on March 8th when the restaurant reopens after winter break. In Titton Falls, Jackie Beckford, News 4, New York.